a little uh, helpful tip here for you guys. Um, I don't know how many of you have ever used a protractor. Um, I'm gonna show you here what I use this for. Uh, really helps in getting your engine timing correct. Um, at least initially, get it in the ballpark. And uh, you can also check your uh, operation of your uh, exhaust valve using a protractor, and I'll bring that up in another video. But for ignition timing, um, I found that one of these protractors you can get at Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, this is made by Empire. Okay, you see right there, it's made by Empire. USA made. Mm -hmm. um, Anyway, I used one of these to see how many degrees before top dead center my mag is tripping, uh, igniter is operating. Um, it gives you a uh, good idea of if you're in the ballpark. I'm sure a lot of guys can do this just by looking at it, but I like being pretty close. So um, I have a, a book in the house. I can't remember the name of the book, but goes into detail on stationary engines from valve timing to ignition to everything, you name it. But uh, in there, they claim that your ignition timing should be three to five degrees for every 100 RPM. So this engine here runs at 600 RPM. So three times six is 18. Five times six is 30. So the ignition timing should be anywhere between 18 degrees and 30 degrees before top dead center. Now, what I do first initially is find top dead center on your engine. I'm gonna bring you over here for a second and show you that on this one, it actually has a T on the flywheel signifying top dead center when this is exactly parallel to the main caps or up and down um we're at top dead center if you look at your crank you'll see that i'm at top dead center if i take it all the way around to the bottom <clears throat> to there that t is now at the bottom which is bottom dead center. So, <clears throat> generally what I do is I will find top dead center on my flywheels. That's the first thing. You gotta find TDC on your flywheels where your piston is at top dead center. Luckily I have that in the embossed in the flywheel at the top here telling me where top dead center is. If I leave it right there in line with the main caps or this grease cap, um, I'm exactly at top dead center. So you find top dead center, you can mark your flywheel, you know, a little paint strip or whatever. Um, find your top dead center. Then the next thing you wanna do is bring your flywheels back. So the arm on your mag is getting ready to trip. So you want to follow through, turn your flywheels real slow until the mag trips. You go real slow with the flywheels, it helps. Real slow. There. That's where our Magneto tripped igniter operation. Now we want to leave it right there. We don't want to move it. Now we take the protractor. And what we want to do is we want to set that little arrow where it is right in line with the zero. That little arm, see that arm moving? So we want to get that set to zero. Do not move your flywheels. It's important you don't move the flywheels. So we wanna bring this a little bit forward or backwards, get that lined up. Okay. You gotta get it right on the money. 
helps to be accurate here. So there, right there, we're right on the zero. Now what I wanna do is where my top dead center mark was, or here on the flywheel, I wanna bring that back up to top dead center. So I'm gonna bring it real slow, top dead center, and we're right about there. That's back where it was, we're top dead center. Now you can see on here, it's showing my ignition is firing at 25, 24, 25 degrees before top dead center, which means that we're right in the ballpark of 18 to 30. Remember earlier, we checked it, then it was 18 to 30. Uh, going by the uh, idea that three to five uh, degrees for every 100 RPM, and ours was 600 RPM. So three times six is 18, five times six is 30. So we got 18 to 30 degrees. And right now we're sitting at 20, about 24, 25. So that is a good place to start with your ignition timing. Now, if I need to advance it or retard it, by the way it runs, then you can come down here on the trip arm, on like on this one, you can loosen that bolt that's up under here and you can move that trip arm, which is right in here, either forward or backward to bring that, if you want to advance it or retard it, you can move that trip arm, the trip lever. So again, you know, everybody's different. Everybody uses something different, but this is what I use. Um, you can actually use this to see how many degrees of operation your exhaust valve is by uh, marking your flywheels, uh, bottom dead center, top dead center, and figuring out how many degrees your exhaust valve is in operation after, you know, after it fires so many degrees before bottom dead center that starts to open so many degrees, I think it's 10 degrees, five to 10 degrees after top dead center when it closes. So it helps you get your exhaust valve timing also. So I'll do that on another video, but uh, mainly this one is to get you in the ballpark for um, setting your timing. Uh, so hopefully this helps you guys, hope you understood what I was doing there. Again, like I said, you find top dead center, which is right there. Yeah, mark your flywheel. Then you want to, <clears throat> you can spin it all the way over if you want. It doesn't matter what you do, which way you go. We can spin it all the way over until we find, we look at our trip lever and we see that it's get, go really slow until it trips. Now, put our protractor on there, zero it out, bring our flywheels back to top dead center, and that'll tell us, again, 25, 25 degrees before top dead center is when this engine is firing. Hope this helps everybody out. Y'all have a good day. Got any questions, message me.